Hi besties, you're welcome back to my channel today. It's a girl Mimi. If you're stopping for the first time, you're highly welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys how to go about calculating, drafting, and cutting your own reversible bucket hat. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, please keep on watching and let's get started. All right, so I went ahead to draw my cap. Please don't laugh. All right, so I'll just go ahead and label it my A my b and my c and we'll be making some calculations before our cutting all right so just watch and listen very attentively so you can see our crown you can call that a and then the body and then the flip part which is our c so the first thing you're, go you're going to do now is to calculate for your a your a will be your round head measurement for me my round head measurement is 22 then you divide it by 6.28, just as if you're cutting your flare. So 22 divided by 6.28 is going to give me 3.5. All right. So go ahead and divide your round head measurement divided by 6.28. For me, it's 3.5, but I'll be adding, um, I'll be adding a half inch seam allowance while cutting and then for the b you just go ahead and calculate your round head measurement which is 22 divided by 2 22 divided by 2 and that will give us 11 that's for your b all right that's for your b so your, your b is 22 which is a round head measurement divided by 2 and for me it's 11 now for the c you're going to also calculate your round head measurement, which is 22, divided by 3.14. All right. Mine is 3.14. 22 divided by 3.14. And then I will have 7 to be my answer. So go ahead and do same. Calculate your round head measurement divided by 3.14. And whatever it gives you is what we'll be using for your your cuttings all right so after that this is all for the calculation aspect of this and as you can see we have our answers already so we'll be using this to cut on our patterns so we'll be cutting the first one which is our crown the one we label a all right go ahead and bring in your pattern paper for me the length is 14 and the width is 15. go ahead and fold them into two like this just as if you're going to cut your flay and then fold it again into four just like you see me do fold them into two and then you fold it again automatically it is folded by four hope you understand now you're going to bring your tape remember this is the crown the first one our a is what we are cutting and remember this is 3.5 we have for the answer so i'll be adding half inch allowance for my uh, seam so i'll be making use of four inches instead all right so go ahead and mark four inches all the way around and then go ahead and connect the lines you do this exactly as if you're cutting a flay hope you understand so after you're done connecting just like you see me do you go ahead and cut this out hope you understand look closely so you could understand what i mean all right so just go ahead and trace it and then use the scissors to cut this out just like you see me do exactly all right and that's basically all for our a aspect of it the crown aspect of it so this is what we have for our crown and then i'll just go ahead and keep this aside and then the next thing we are going to do right now is to cut for our b all right that's the body of our cap B and the answer we got for it was 11 as you can see here so I'll be using my 11 go ahead and bring your fresh pattern and pattern paper and then measure the the length or the width of your your pattern for me my answer was 11 so I'll go ahead and add additional half inch to it for seam and approximately I will be measuring 11 and a half and then the width I'll be using will be 3.5 all right 
I'll be making use of 3.5 so that after joining, after my sewing and everything, it will come up to 3. Hope you understand. So go ahead and connect your lines like this and then go ahead and cut out just exactly like you see me do. Go ahead and cut out. Remember my width is 3.5 and then the length is 11.5. Alright, I'll go ahead and label this my B and then of course I'll label the first one my A. So the crown and the body is um, ready. So the next thing we're going to go ahead to cut now will be our C, which is a flay part of it. As you can see here, this is the one we'll be cutting now. And then we have seven to be our answer for C. So go ahead and bring another fresh paper like this and then mark seven all the way around just like you see me. I'll go ahead and mark seven, seven inches all the way around just as if I want to cut my filet. So go ahead and mark it all the way around. And as you can see, my tape is not moving on the upper part of my pattern. All right, so just go ahead and do exactly what you see me do now. After that, you go ahead and connect your points together. Go ahead and mark them and then connect it together. I hope you understand what I mean. Just watch closely. This is me now connecting my dots together. All right. And so after this, the next thing I'll go ahead to measure will be the width, how wide I want it to be for me. I'll be making use of 3.5 inches. So I'll just go ahead and mark 3.5 inches all the way around. And then I'll go ahead and connect it, as you can see. And then I'll cut it, just like you see me do. And then I'll go ahead and label it my C. As you can see, that's my A, which is a crown, and my B, and then my C. So that's basically all for the pattern drafting and calculation of this um, tutorial. Stay tuned to watch the sewing um, part of this cap. Thank you so much for watching. Bye and see you in my next one.